In this GeoMap App tutorial, we'll explore the digitization of data in GeoMap App. In this tutorial, we'll look at three aspects of the digitization functions in GeoMap App. First, we'll explore how to digitize points on a map, including creating polygons. Next, we'll look at interpolating between the digitized points in order to create profiles. And third, we'll look at the digitization of seismic horizons in the GeoMap app seismic portals. So let's start by digitizing points on the map. The digitizer is activated by clicking this symbol, the XYZ button, in the GeoMap app toolbar. The grid that underlies the GeoMap app base map has been loaded and we see this if we find the global grids window which may be parked in the computer taskbar and open it. The loading of that grid will allow us in the second part of this tutorial to interpolate between the digitized points in order to create profiles. For now let's move the grid dialog window out of the way. We also notice that the structure of the GeoMap app window has changed. A panel opened at the bottom, and over on the right another panel opened, but we need to slide this line slightly this way in order to see the digitization function buttons here. So let's begin digitizing points around some of the Hawaiian Islands. For this we activate the line segment tool here, and by moving the mouse into the map window we see that the cursor has changed from an arrow to a plus sign. To digitize the points we simply click with the cursor. So let's start here and we'll come across the island of Oahu and go over to Molokai and up to these landslide features up here. When we finish digitizing the points we click on the digitization cursor symbol over in the right pane, this button here. By doing that, the digitized points have turned into little squares that we see in the map window and have been joined by straight line segments here. The digitized points also appear in the table at the bottom of the GeoMap app window. The digitized points can be saved by using the shift or control keys to select all of the records, like this. And using a copy paste function, they can be pasted into another application, such as a spreadsheet. We can capture digitized points using any of the other grids that are built into the global grids dialog. And if we open that grid dialog window, we'll see the grids that are available to us here. For the second part of this tutorial on digitization, we'll look at interpolating between the digitized points in order to create a profile. We see in the pane at the bottom of the GeoMap app window here that we have the original digitized points shown in the map window. If we now go over to the right and hit the Make Profile button, this will create the interpolated points along the profile lines shown in the map window. And now if we click on Interpolated Points, we'll see all of the points that have been generated between the control waypoints. And by clicking the Draw Profile button, the profile is generated. We can switch between the original digitized points and the interpolated points and profiles simply by selecting the item on the right here. We can digitize another set of line segments by going up to the line segment button clicking that, and now we can start once again clicking in the map window to take profiles
Once we've finished with the digitizing function, we can just hit the close button here. For the last part of this tutorial on digitization, we'll look at digitizing some reflectors in the multi-channel seismic reflection profiles. And to find out how to load those profiles, please see the tutorial on available data. In this example, we're looking at a particular MCS line for Ewing 9801, just offshore the main island of Hawaii. And down in this window in the lower left, we see the reflectors. The seismic reflector digitizing function is activated by clicking the button here. And we can now go into the seismic section and digitize the horizon. like this. Once we've finished, we click on the cursor tool, and the digitized points can be saved by clicking the diskette to the right of the digitizing function. Like so. And here's the file of the digitized points. More information on GeomapApp can be found at www.geomapapp.org.